Paul Lucien Mays, born in 1887, was an Anglo-French painter. He is often referred to as the last of the post-impressionists and was one of the prominent artists of his time. Paul Lucien Mays was known for his diverse range of mediums, including oils, watercolors, and pastels. His artworks encompassed various subjects, such as French maritime scenes, bustling New York City scenes, and the serene English countryside. Notably, Mays's paintings captured quintessentially English themes, featuring regattas, sporting events, and ceremonial celebrations like racing at Goodwood, Henley Regatta, Trooping the Color, and Yachting at Cows. During the First World War, Mays forged a friendship with Winston Churchill, whom he met in the trenches. Their shared passion for painting fostered a lifelong bond, with Mays serving as Churchill's artistic mentor, encouraging him to refine his drawing and painting techniques. Paul Lucien Mays, born in Le Havre, Normandy, in 1887, was a French-born artist who later became a British citizen. He learned the fundamentals of painting from renowned artists such as Claude Monet, Raoul Dufy, Camille Pissarro, and Pierre-Auguste Renoir. Mays developed a love for all things English during his time in Southampton, England, and eventually became a naturalized British subject in 1920. During World War I, Mays attempted to join the French army but was deemed unfit. Instead, he offered his services to the British and became an interpreter with the Royal Scots Greys. Mays's position was unofficial, leading to a misunderstanding that resulted in his being sentenced to death. Luckily, he was recognized by an officer from the Royal Scots Greys and was released. Mays then joined General Hubert Goff's staff as a military draftsman, producing accurate drawings of enemy positions. He was wounded multiple times and received several medals for his bravery. After the war, Mays immersed himself in the Parisian art scene and became friends with artists such as André Dirac, André Dunoyer de Sigonzac, and Pierre Bonnard. However, it was Edouard Vuillard who had the most significant influence on Mays, encouraging his use of pastels. Mays's talent as a pastelist brought him global recognition. In 1921, he married Margaret Nelson and moved to London, where he painted various scenes, from grand events to the city's more somber aspects. Mays's work continued to evolve, and he became known for his vibrant and fresh style. In conclusion, Paul Lucien Mays was a versatile and influential painter who left a lasting impact on the art world. His diverse range of mediums, including oils, watercolors, and pastels, showcased his artistic prowess. Mays's ability to capture quintessentially English themes, such as regattas, sporting events, and ceremonial celebrations, demonstrated his keen eye for detail and his ability to evoke a sense of nostalgia. His friendship with Winston Churchill not only showcased his artistic mentorship but also highlighted his ability to forge meaningful connections. Mays's journey from being a French-born artist to becoming a British citizen symbolizes his love for all things English. Despite facing challenges during World War I, Mays's bravery and talent as a military draftsman were recognized and rewarded. His immersion in the Parisian art scene and friendship with influential artists further contributed to his artistic development. Mays's use of pastels, influenced by Edouard Vuillard, brought him global recognition. Overall, Mays's vibrant and fresh style continues to captivate audiences and solidify his status as a prominent figure in the art world.